Has this ever happened to you where you open up a new software so excited to learn? And then it all looks like you just walked into a class you weren't supposed to walk into. And after that you just close it up never to open it again. Well that is the story of many people but today I am going to teach how you can open up Blender and not get intimidated by all the UI and get started. But before we dive into learning how to navigate Blender, here is a quick reminder if you are looking to effortlessly create stunning artwork and save valuable time. We have got a treasure trove of ready-to-use assets waiting for you on our website 3D.design. But the creative journey begin. Hey, Sam from 3D here. The best way to learn a software is to divide it into chunks. What we see when we open up a software is all of the UI and all of its features at once. But when we divide it into chunks, it becomes digestible and easy to use. So today in Blender, we are just going to talk about this area right here, which is called the viewport. If I am doing anything outside this area, you don't really need to think about it right now, because all we are going to focus on is the viewport and how we can navigate it. So when you first open up Blender, this is exactly what you see. There is a cube in the middle, there is a light and a camera and you can see them on the right over here as well. Now you don't really need to care about what these things are for now. Today we are just going to see how we can move around them and how we can move in 3D space. Whenever we are using a piece of 3D software, it's always better to have a mouse and full-sized keyboard. By full-sized, I mean a keyboard with a numpad as well. But if you are on a laptop and you don't have a full-size keyboard, I'll tell you ways around that as well, so don't worry about it. How you can start moving around in the 3D space? You have to click the middle mouse button. Do you see the scroll wheel on your mouse? You have to click it down, and then you can just rotate around the middle of the screen. You can see on the left here, the keys I am pressing as well, it should be easier for you. Just click the middle mouse button and move the mouse and it will rotate around the center of the screen. And with the same middle mouse button, if we scroll in, it will zoom in and if we scroll it out, it will scroll the timeline out. We can zoom way out and we can zoom way into the object. Now let's say you know how to rotate around the timeline. Like go below, go up by just moving the mouse and by pressing the middle mouse button. Now what is you want to move side to side and not just rotate in a single place? I mean, let's say you want to go over there in this area, right? You can't just go there by pressing the middle mouse button. It won't let you, it will just move around the center point. Now for you to go into this area right here. While holding shift, if you press the middle mouse button, you will just be able to pan anywhere on the screen. There you go, we can just move the cube completely to the side. And now we are here. Now we can just zoom out, zoom in go to the left, go to the right, rotate around, then go to the right over here, then go to the left over here and you get up of your chair and do a victory dance because you just learned how to use Blender. But wait, now this is not the only thing. These are the basics of moving around in Blender, but I'll tell you a few cool tricks that you can use while working in Blender. So let's recap what we have learned so far. If we want to rotate around our screen, what we do in Blender is press the middle mouse button and then we can just rotate around the center point of the screen. If we want to pan, press and hold shift, and then press the middle mouse button and move the mouse, and it will just pan around the screen. If we scroll in, it will zoom us in. If we scroll out, it will zoom us out. That's what we have learned so far on how to navigate the viewports. Now you will be wondering what are these icons on the right over here. Remember all the things we just did to move around. Well, you can do all of these things without using these shortcuts by these icons over here. So you see this zoom icon over here. Just click it and drag. And you can zoom in and zoom out, just like you can do with the scroll wheel. Now, see this hand over here. You can click this hand and just pan around the whole screen without using the shift plus middle mouse button shortcut. You can pan around like this, you can zoom around with this button. And up here, if you click this little circle over here, these little icons, you will be able to rotate around the screen just like you can by pressing the middle mouse button on your mouse. So if you're not familiar, in the 3D space we use three axes. X-axis, Y-axis, Z-axis. Well, there are six, but the other ones are just minus X, minus Y and minus Z. All of them you can see over here. Now, if you look closely, I did not mention what two of these buttons do right here. For now, you don't have to know about those buttons. We will get to that in a later video. These are the main ways that you can navigate in Blender, but there are a few more that I'm going to tell you about now. I told you that if you drag on this circle icon on the right, you will be able to rotate around the whole screen. But I did not mention that if you click any of these little circles, you will go into that respective orthographic view, where you will be able to see the screen or the model that you have in the middle of the screen in orthographic perspectives. Now I'll illustrate it a bit better for you. Let's remove this cube and let's add this monkey over here. Now if I press this minus Y, I will be able to see the front of the monkey in an orthographic view. If I press X, I will be able to see it from the side. 
If I press X again, I will be able to see it from the other side. If I press Z, I will be able to see it from the top, Z again, and I will be able to see it from the bottom. These are all the orthographic views. Now, again, there are many ways to do a single thing in Blender. As I told you before, that you can navigate the viewport by pressing the middle mouse button or dragging this. There are ways to access these orthographic views without using this little icon over here. Now if you have a complete keyboard with the numpad available, what you would be able to do is just click the numbers on the numpad to access these different orthographic views without needing to go up here and click these buttons over here. But if you are like me and you don't have a full keyboard, and you don't have the numpad available, you can't use the numbers keys on top of your keyboards. So there's a workaround on that if you are a laptop user and don't have a full keyboard. What you have to do is go up here in the edit, go into preferences, and in preferences, in the input section over here, what you need to do is click this button right here, emulate numpad. Now, once you click this button, emulate numpad, you can just close that window. And now, on your laptops, you should be able to navigate or access the orthographic views with one, two, three buttons on the top of your keyboard. Otherwise, without having this option checked, you won't be able to do that with the keys that are above your keyboard. After enabling Emulate Numpad, you can access all of the different orthographic views with just a press of a button, without having the need to move your mouse all the way over here and click this individually. So I'm sure while watching this tutorial, you guys are trying to move around the Blender viewport as well. But I'm sure some of you have also ran into a problem, where you have zoomed way far out or you have panned out way far just trying out the software and now you just can't find the middle of the screen. You don't know where it is and you are trying so hard to zoom in, but you just can't and you stare into this void and it is slowly consuming you. But anyways, there is a way to find the middle of the screen or any object that you want to focus on. To do that, what you have to do is go up here on the right click on any object you want. If you have a numpad, press the period key on the numpad and you should focus right in on the object. But if you don't have a numpad, what you can do is just go into view and then click on this frame selected option. You can see over here that it is already showing us the numpad, period key, which is giving us a hint that if you just press that key, it will zoom right in. But if you don't have that key, what you can do is just go into view and then click on frame selected and you should zoom right in on the object you are trying to see. Now I can move anywhere on this viewport, like way far away. And what I can do, just to focus, is go into view, frame selected. And it will focus right in on the object that we are trying to work with. So that's gonna be pretty much it on how you can navigate the viewport in Blender. You can either use the shortcuts I just taught you, or you can use the keys on the side or this thing on the side to do all the things that we discussed. I would always recommend that you learn the shortcuts because when you are working professionally in a software, it is always better to know the shortcuts, that way you can work faster. I mean, this is how fast I can move around Blender with all the shortcuts. And this is what I have to do if I have to use the keys on the side. I have to adjust it so minutely and so carefully. But if I know the shortcuts, which is middle mouse button to rotate, shift middle mouse button to pan, and then scroll into zoom in, scroll out to zoom out. If I know these shortcuts, it'll be much easier for me to move around and navigate the viewport faster. So I always encourage you to use these shortcuts. Other than that, that's pretty much it for how you can navigate the viewport in Blender when you first open it up. Alright, so I believe that's it for this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to check our vast library of 3D models at 3 dot design, And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.